brown, actually. I never liked Fleetwood Mac, ever. <laughs> I thought Stevie Nicks, I thought her voice was annoying. But she sings a song called Sarah. And it was uh, made a few years before I was born. And it talks about when you build your house, call me home. Stevie Nicks is um, the vibration of Nikola Tesla. Stevie is six. Nicks is five. That wasn't her birth name, but um, her birth name was Stephanie Lynn Nicks. And Sarah Winchester died on uh, 9 5 1922 and that's 5 so uh, the frequency communicates through um, the, the numbers 9 um, so Stephanie Stevie Nix Stephanie can um, communicate with 9 really well so anything that happens um, that has to do with nine that's recorded um, can communicate like a big telephone line. It's like a party line for each frequency, you know, going up to nine, like one through nine. Each uh, number would have a frequency and each, uh, you know, word that you see with the number in it. Other people with... Um, like the frequency of that word, they, it'll be attracted to them. Because say it's a, like someone has, like I have five in my name, and so all fives are attracted to me in certain ways, but we have other numbers too, so that factor out. Um, but frequency <clears throat> and how we exist is um it's really easy all it it's like the first language before any language and it's after um it's before the numbers but the numbers are there to represent the frequency you see numbers couldn't exist without frequency numbers are why you know frequency they communicate together so numbers are why they're the symbol, the first symbol, counting frequency, radio frequency, you know, frequency that you can feel, like emotion, emotion, it's not emotion, it's frequency. So how we're born, <clears throat> how we transfer over, it's really simple, actually, it's all dreams, it's part of big dreams, and um, that transfer us over. Eventually we keep going to sleep and sleep and the dreams keep getting more vivid and we don't know what's happening happening if we don't pay attention and nobody pays attention because everybody's so busy and that's why we shouldn't even be busy. We should quit life and not be busy. Everybody should. Nobody should work if they don't have to or if they don't want to because that's not the way we exist here. Someone else taught us how to exist here and that's not the right way. So. Again, how we are born here. And there was no property taxes before I was here, or when I was here before. No property taxes. But now there is. Funny. So I'm going to try to fix that. So, frequency is in the pyramids, in the pyramid structure. There's seven symbols there. So, in the reincarnation process or how we transfer over, the planet looks for um, carriers. There's four carriers, two hosts, and one, one viewer. So the Sphinx is the viewer, you see? So before that, there's six pyramids. So four carriers, four grandparents, two hosts, and then we're the viewer. So there's one viewer. <clears throat> That's the pattern for everybody. That's the significance of the pyramids. That's the significance of the number seven. 
um, the pyramid isn't just a top and a bottom, you know, spots. The triangle is not just, there's, a, it's a really strong structure. If you're very thoughtful, you'll think of building something with a really strong foundation. And um, so there's three on the bottom, two in the middle, and then one on the top. So that's seven. And that's how you build a strong <coughs> triangle pyramid. That's how you would build it. <coughs> you wouldn't just think it would be going in a long line. You need to support the middle, right? Every strong foundation needs sturdy columns to support it. So that's how I confirmed that I confirmed that yesterday. And um, so yeah, grandparents, carriers, carriers, that's all they are. They're not grandparents, they're carriers. And the planet will look for a carrier for you. It will line up with your past life and there's gonna be a chosen one in a line of those carriers. There's gonna be one really strong character. One of your grandparents is going to be very strong <clears throat> in um, character. And, uh, and that's going to lead into the next the next line, and that's the host. And that there's two hosts, and that's your parents. But they're not parents, they're hosts. Hosts. We're all like those, those dolls that have dolls inside, and they keep opening up. And that's what all of the writing on the walls of Egypt, that's what it's all about. <clears throat> so, um, we're all cupid dolls and hosts, parents, hosts. And then we follow a line in that upside down pyramid from the carriers to the hosts to the viewer, to us. <clears throat> so, see, it's like upside down. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, so we'd follow, or one starts here, that's where the true line begins, that's where you look, that's where the map, like the X map on the map begins, like start here. And then you, you look at the hosts, there's two hosts, you look and see which one is going to match up with that strong one up here, one of those is going to match up with it. And then that is going to travel, that strongness of that traveling frequency that travels, that's going to be the majority of you. So you're going to be a, more of one of these people. They're not people that's just a frequency. You're just going to be following a line. These other people are going to be like participants. <clears throat> I mean, they're going to be reincarnated too. And you just got to find out who they were. And you just track to see what they were doing in their past life, like the end of their past life, and line it up to their new life. What are they doing? Sarah had boats at the end of her life, <clears throat> or a boat, and both of my, both of the sets of carriers had boats, houseboats, and I used to spend the night on them. <clears throat> Everything was about a 13. One of the carriers, my grandma, the strong one, she had the vibration of Sarah. <clears throat> also, her name was Elizabeth Blood. That's 9-5. And, but her, her middle name and her last name, <clears throat> when she was born, was Elizabeth, uh, and her, her middle name and her last name was Lorraine Blood, and that's 8 and 5, and that's 13. So do you see, like, Sarah's connection in that carrier, how strong it is? All of this is existing as an experiment, and it's being put out there now. But that's how frequency exists. You, you can read that. So that 4, that 13, traveled to my mom. My mom was the 13. 
Amelia Earhart reincarnated. She was 13. Her name was Pamela Florine. Born in Nebraska. I think Omaha, so <clears throat> 13. Okay, so that's Pamela. And that's the strong four that had me. You see? And I'm eight and five, and I'm four. That's my frequency, eight and five. <clears throat> and Pamela was a carrier <clears throat> for my daughter. Larissa for herself so basically our tribe does like a little a really tight-knit circle now it's gonna be a tight-knit circle because we're all obsessed with numbers and all this you know magic stuff <laughs> it's just obsessing 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 like my dad dad walks a million miles a day a million miles a day around the same mountain <laughs> so we'll see what happens there <laughs> But that's how it happens. We <clears throat> we reincarnate. It happens. It just lines up in frequencies. It's like plug in. We plug in. We're not bodies. We're the planet first. We are the planet first. Like a big blob looking for places to pop up. Psh, we go plug back into the sun. Plug back into the sun. Plug. You know, it's, it's just keep going. We're just going around. It's very simple. Future's here. <laughs> Why wouldn't we be able to think this way? When you use cannabis as the ancient tool that it is, you will see what I mean. You can't just do it once or twice and feel silly. You have to do it on a daily basis, get to know it, study it, observe its effects, and then apply it to what it's really used for. That's how it's used. Responsibly? Just use it as a plant and a tool and it's provided to us from the planet as a tool. Everything on the planet is provided to us as a tool. Nothing, nothing like that should ever be taken away from us. Booze, on the other hand, cigarettes? Yeah, they're man-made. Those should be taken away. Absolutely. Yes, killers, 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 killers. That vaping stuff, just stop stressing these people out. Give them money. Give them the, the, their land back. They won't need to smoke. Where do we get our money for all this free stuff? You know, to get free free cash handouts? Stop making people pay property tax. Make, make, let them build. Let them build and reincarnate. That's what I'm gonna that's what I'm here to do. People need to build and stay in one place and settle and reincarnate there. And keep coming back. And then we should never have to pay any kind of property tax. Property tax? What the hell? Who the hell is a government? Nope. Not on my watch. The planet knows what I'm doing. So, good luck to uh, all the people who try to go up against me. The silent snail over here. You don't know what you're up against. But, we never die. So I never died. Shouldn't have to pay property tax. Real estate guru. Ooh, real estate paperwork. Ooh, now I write everything down. Be scared. America.